Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create product attributes. Product attributes are really the backbone of products. Product attributes are all the little things that you see inside of a product, all the little selections. So if we're looking at this product on an order form, this is a product attribute. This, 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 this. These are all separate product attributes. So as you can see, there are a lot of different types. The most common type is a drop-down. And so all of these are drop-downs. The other types are numerical, alphanumerical, um, and also checkbox types. The other thing worth distinguishing is your products may have different types of attributes. Group attributes, which would include all of these. So anything that is the exact same for the whole group and item attributes which can be modified line by line. So all of these down here are item attributes and you don't really need to deal with that until you start building your products. You build both attributes in the same place. So where is that? Let's go into catalog and product attributes. So here's the list of all of them in your system. You can see the different types the names and the formula names. And of course you can filter them out and edit them from here. Let's create a new one. We'll go add attribute. As you can see it requires a name which will automatically fill out the formula name. So the display name will remain editable to you at any time. But the formula name, once you've saved this attribute, is going to stay the same and never change. So we can either verify that it's a good one right now, or we can just wait till the end and see if it flags it. Now here's where we select what kind of attribute it's going to be. And these are pretty straightforward. This is just a number, a select down like we already kind of went over, a checkbox, or a text field. These comments are for your reference. The formatting allows you to customize how the attribute will look on the order form. And the help info is the pop-up page that will appear if they click on the clickable link for that attribute. So after filling out all this information, you just simply hit save. Now you may find as you build your catalog that you have a lot of the same attributes. You'll want basically all of the same information, except you want to just change one small part of it. For that, you can use the clone this attribute, which will do just that. It'll clone it and let you change the name. Let me go back and explain the more complicated attribute, which is the drop-down attribute. It's really the only one that needs any explanation. So what you'll see is this editable column and row table. You can add as many rows and columns as you'll need. All of these can be used in pricing and supply allocation and in other places in the site. If you are going to associate anything in this table, for example, let's say the name of one of your, let's call it materials, is going to be associated with an actual supply item, then you'll click this. And it gives you more columns out here that link directly to your supplies. So you can find the exact supply item. And of course you can choose one default and make these available or unavailable any given time. This is especially useful when you have multiple products with the same attribute. You may want this to be the default on one product, product A, and this to be the default on product B. Save this attribute in its most common state and then you can go back into each product and change them on the product level. Make sure and save when you're done. 